Let's build any man up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? So we're looking at Kenmore. This is bottom freezer. And this is the cover for that fan. It's got a little clip in the middle. And I push up on that clip, pull that thing out of there. You notice down here, we've got ice built up. That's not a good thing. And if you disconnect all the little screws and goodies, you can take that part off. Look inside there. You can see it's all blocked up with ice. Basically, I've already tested this one here. And the uh, thermostat, there's a thermostat up here. Uh, that has continuity. <clears throat> and the heat element has uh, continuity as well. So basically, the only thing really left here is this fan. This fan seems fine. Now we just need to defrost all this stuff here and make sure that drain, there's a little drain right under here. Make sure that drain's clear and it will be good. Yep. Frost builds up. What happens is bacteria, food particles, etc. over time will clog up that drain. This may be the first time for this uh, refrigerator to do this. And uh, so let's get her done. Just need to clean all that ice out and make sure that drain's running fine. Drain right down there in the bottom. Take your heat gun. Make sure all that ice melts in that drain. That drain's running good. Okay, you got a lot of it melted. You definitely don't want to be poking this stuff with anything sharp because you, you can poke a hole in this stuff and then you'd have big problems. These little tubes basically uh, have the gas inside of it. Um, what we're trying to figure out if this drain here is uh, draining freely, what I'll do is I'll just pour some hot soapy water down there and make sure it's going to drain. Uh, scrape off the excess ice here on the top and then uh, as long as that drain's clear that's the main thing at this point <laughs> see what happens is the air gets sucked in down here on the bottom and it's supposed to go through those coils it doesn't go through the coils it just sucks it up here and doesn't get cold air that fan pushes it up in the refrigerator compartment Basically um, spreads the cold air from the coils here. Well, let's make sure that drain is going to work and now put it back together. Okay, there's one more thing to check. It's this thing here. I'm not going to check it this time. It's not normally a problem. Uh, but there is an ohms reading on this thing when it's cold. Um, but the drain is working fine at this point, so we're just going to. Uh, scrape off the excess size and put it back together. Okay, got it pretty much back together Here's this little clip in the center if you just push up and pull out on that. That's how that thing comes out I've broken a few just trying to learn how to do that. So a little clip in the middle just push it up and You don't have to push it up too far. Just push it up like less than a quarter of an inch uh, Anyway Then make sure that down here you got everything clean down here you don't have a lint built up back in there. This thing had like two inches of lint in here. I couldn't believe it. Anyway. It's probably never been cleaned. This fridge is probably uh, like, uh, I would guess 20 years old or so. Let's see, what is it? Do you read that or not? But it's pretty old. Okay, here's a couple sounds you should listen for. You hear this blow, uh, fan blowing? You can actually feel it blowing here. And it's getting cold. It just it just got plugged in, it's getting cold. So, um, it had been unplugged for like two hours. And this other sound, this is a compressor back here. It's different from the inner fan sound. So the compre there's a compressor sound, and then this fan sound. And the fan, usually you can feel the fan blowing. So, uh, you want to make sure both those are working otherwise you'll have a circulation problem up on top if that fan is not blowing it probably needs to be replaced and you wouldn't have circulation up on the top and also it's never a good idea to unplug and plug the thing in quickly I would wait at least a minute before you plug it back in if you uh, uh, if you unplug it it's just my the way I do things the new stuff I don't follow too closely but basically on the older stuff, it's not a good idea to unplug and plug it back in quickly. So, uh, 
I've had compressors that will not restart if you unplug them and turn them back on really quickly. So be forewarned on that one.